Tomato life cycle. Seed germination. The life cycle starts with a tomato seed. When the seed is planted in soil and provided with water, warmth, and light, it undergoes germination. A tiny shoot emerges from the seed, developing into a seedling. Seedling stage. The seedling grows leaves and stems as it continues to absorb nutrients from the soil. This stage is crucial for establishing a strong foundation for the plant. Vegetative growth. As the plant enters the vegetative phase, it develops more leaves, branches, and a robust root system. This stage is focused on foliage growth and preparing the plant for reproduction. Flowering. The tomato plant produces flowers, typically in clusters. These flowers contain both male and female parts and are essential for the pollination process. Pollination. Pollination can occur through wind, insects, or even gentle shaking of the plant. Pollen from the male parts of the flower, anthers, travels to the female parts, stigma, leading to the formation of tiny, developing fruits. Fruit development. The fertilized flower transforms into a green fruit known as a tomato. The fruit goes through various stages, gradually enlarging and changing color. Ripening. As the tomato matures, it undergoes a ripening process where it changes color from green to red, orange, yellow, or other hues depending on the variety. The fruit also develops its characteristic flavor and aroma during this stage. Harvest. Once fully ripened, tomatoes are ready for harvest. The timing of the harvest depends on the desired ripeness and use. Tomatoes can be picked individually as they ripen, allowing for a prolonged harvest period. End of life cycle. After harvest, the plant may continue to produce more fruits if conditions permit. As the growing season ends or adverse conditions set in, the tomato plant naturally completes its life cycle. This cyclical process ensures the continuation of tomato plants, with seeds from mature fruits capable of germinating and starting the life cycle anew.